San Diego today. Uh, we're doing a quick 24 hours in San Diego because I need to get my hair done. I have not had a haircut in two years. So I think like February 2022 was the last time I came down here. Um, I'm pretty loyal to my hairstylist, so I will not cheat on her. And I just hadn't had a time had time to come until now. So let's go get our hair done. Let's look at San Diego. I used to live here, grew up here, and then I moved to LA back in like 2012. So it's always nostalgic. So I'm excited to show you guys a little bit of my San Diego. All right, let's go. So I'm editing and realized that I didn't get any footage of myself getting my hair cut. I'm very frustrated because that's what the whole process or like the whole reason why we went to San Diego for. Um, I did get some on my phone, so I'll put that in the next bit, but, uh, you know, picking up the camera and vlogging like this is still very boring to me, so I'm trying to work on getting better at it. Um, so practice makes perfect, and I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes, so I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, let's continue the video. Good morning from San Diego. Uh, our hair took a very long time. So we got there at 2.30 and I don't think we left until... 7? 6? No, it was 8. It was 8, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we were there for a very long time. Um, and then so we just went and got some rolled tacos at the taco shop I used to go to here. And then we fell asleep. And now we're awake and like look how beautiful San Diego is looking today. Um, we're gonna meet my mom a little bit later. So right now we are gonna go to Seaport Village cause it's walking distance just like way, way this way. And then um, get some coffee. And yeah, that's, it's a very short, quick trip and I guess six hours of it was taken to our hair. But I mean, well, well, well worth it. So let's let's go explore San Diego while we can. We stayed at the Hilton Bayfront. It's my second time being at this hotel. I love it because the location is amazing. It's walking distance to downtown. It's walking distance to Seaport Village. I can see the convention stairs that Melissa and I used to uh, <laughs> kill ourselves on. But like, look at this view of downtown. It's just amazing. And any San Diegans remember when they were building this in 2008 and like 16 floors blew up from like a gas leak? I remember I lived in Golden Hill and I used my camera trying to like see what happened. Seaport Village holds such a special place in my heart because I, so I lived in Golden Hill for maybe five years. So I would walk to Seaport Village to catch the sunset and it's just, a cool place to be and not I mean I know it's a, a tourist trap but as a local I really did enjoy it because I just come down here you know get like a ice cream or a treat and then just watch the sun go down over the harbor We met my mom at Liberty Station at Breakfast Republic and Melissa and I split um, two plates because we wanted something sweet and savory so we got the cinnamon roll pancakes and the chilaquiles and they were so good. I think there are a few locations at Breakfast, Breakfast Republic, I don't know exactly. 
And then we let Enzo just play around and touch some grass before the long drive back to LA. Liberty Station's gotten so cute. I need to visit this area more next time I'm down. And then Enzo Snap kind of matched perfectly with when we were passing Doe and Arrow. So of course I had to stop by and get some yummy cookies. If you're in like the Costa Mesa area, I would highly recommend this place. I want to go in May when they have the uh, mango sticky rice cookie. Hopefully I can do that. But yeah, that's it. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and see you on the next one.